Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and I just saw something drop. 52 minutes ago, Chrono Jet Dragon Z was posted on a Facebook group I'm a part of, and it looks to be a card that's going to be available at World Series, I think. Um, I really don't know too much about it, but what's posted here on this, and it looks like it's going to be a part of Divine Dragon part of this set right here that's coming out soon set 14 didn't see it in here earlier it wasn't part of here earlier probably just recently updated it with all the cards let's see is the new nope he's not here so this was mentioned in a comment earlier and i don't remember where i know it was an umbreon picture so my guy that made a comment on this please leave a like subscribe all that fun stuff let's get into this Chrono Jet Dragon Z. So guys, I was right. I'm so happy to finally be right for once. We're getting a new Chrono Jet. Um, so let's go over its skills. Then we can talk about theories and other thoughts about this card. So it's van continuous Vanguard skill. The cost for stride may also be may also be paid with the choosing of a grade three zodiac time beast from your drop zone. Bind it face up. And its other skill is Soul Blast one. When your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do choose up to one of any player's rear guards, put it to the bottom of the deck. If a card was put, search your deck for up to one Zodiac Time Beast with a grade greater, one grade greater than the card called with the effect Shuffle Deck. So let's let's go over what we see here. We see Chrono Jet stepping out from his normal colors of wonderful wonderful metal or uh, blue to um what's it called um yeah a color that i can't think of to silver my favorite color this card looks beautiful like if you look at any of the other chrono jets in the past you could see that it's just not this good looking in my opinion and Honestly, I like the card. It, it, I'm, I'm super hyped. So, like, I just pulled up the original Chrono Jet, and here it is. You can see a difference right away. Like, look it. So, things we see is he's keeping his red and gold. His red with his gold trims. He's keeping these right here with a blue. But all the... All, or green, sorry. Wow, I'm colorblind if I think that's blue. But all this blue turns to this beautiful metallic silver color. His eyes are green. They're green here as well. These horns are more straight upward. I mean, this card looks amazing. And I guess it was revealed recently. I, I don't know. I mean, this card just looks good. Um, No ultimate stride bonus like Lord. Who cares about that? But like, so I wanted to be the first to drop this because I don't think anyone else on YouTube has covered this yet. So I know it's really early and I know that there's supposed to be a video going up before this that I have yet to record. But I wanted to take time to talk about how this will affect Zodiac Time BCS. So unfortunately, Mind and Black Moon's Dragons in hopes for a non-Zodiac Time Beast themed Vanguard. And I think honestly, a lot of people's hopes for a non-Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard was destroyed here. Because we wanted something to, we wanted to step away from Zodiac Time Beast, and we just didn't get the ability to step away, which is sad. And it makes it sort of makes me sad. I mean, when you think about it, we're, we're still stuck in the Zodiac Time Beast loop, which isn't really fair to us. But at the same time, this card's going to be good for the Zodiac Time Beast. It's going to make Chrono Jet Zodiac Time Beast deck stronger. Because it's allowing you to bind a grade 3. So that means you can run a, literally 3 copies of this, 4 copies of any other grade 3, including Zodiac Time Beast Chrono Jet. And you'll be able to bind, you'll be able to put Demiurge in a deck. I wouldn't recommend it. It's not going to be consistent enough. But it does fit in with the deck well, and I honestly think this next week we're going to see this card in action in the next episode review. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it, please go check it out and smash the like button, because it means a lot to me. We're trying to get up to 200 subs by the end of the month. 
and we're steadily growing. We have a whole bunch of new subscribers from just this week alone. Um, other thoughts on the card. It's art and design is beautifully in captured. I like how fortunately is there any way nope. Alright, so what we're going to do is minimize that. Put that there. Um Copy and replace for now. I can always get that picture back later. So I wanna actually like okay, move over there. I want I wanna review like the art and details in the back of this. And I forgot I couldn't do that well there. So, like I said, so the overall design changed quite a bit when we come back here and we look at this one. This one I can sort of actually do a comparison. And we'll do that. All right. So let's take a look at the two cards. Again, you can already see some significant changes. One I see as well is the horn here in the center. It's no longer this like crescent moon shape that it has. It's now this full U, it looks like. The background design is like sh is time rips. Whereas this, whereas the one on my right, I'm not gonna keep hovering over it, so it keeps doing that. Um, turns into this um, shattering reality, and let's just check out its um, what's it called? It's okay. So it's a gear dragon slash zodiac time beast. That's what I wanted to know because this one over here, last I checked, is just a gear dragon. Honestly though, these cards are very different in skill, whereas this one allows you to have multi-stride skills. This one focuses on getting to GB2 and using its secondary skill in a pinch. I don't know, I was just sort of excited. I was scrolling through Facebook when I saw this, and I was just thinking, I now have something to replace my Chrono Jet Gs with, or to add into my Chrono Fane deck another grade three that could be potentially useful. And this, and again, this card does have a lot of impl implications, being that it's a Zodiac Time Beast unit. And honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Overall, I like the, I like the design, I like the look. Keeps the scarf, it trims this down a bit. It's actually the same design. At first, I didn't think so. Um, It just looks really good. Like, I'm at an awe, because I didn't think this was an actual thing. And someone had mentioned Chrono Jet Z, and I hadn't, I wasn't able to find any information on it. I was sort of hoping for something different if they were making a third Chrono Jet, but now that I know they are, I'm super excited for set 14. But I'm not going to try to drag this out any longer. This will be all for now, guys. Until next week, or not next week, wow. That's how you know I'm really tired. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later, and... Peace.